Hello everybody, uh, welcome back, time for another video. Um, in this video I'm gonna tie um, shoulders but with a mixed wing. Uh, that can be interesting due to the fact it, it has a middle wing but uh, yeah somehow I'm gonna sort that into the wing and uh, yeah hopefully it's gonna look uh, good. And by the way the mixed wing is a request by one of the subscribers so um, enjoy. Uh, let's start the video. So le let's start a um, strange angle uh, of this video, but uh, uh, yes, I can show you pretty close up what I'm doing. So I have strips from each side uh, for, for all the colors we need to have in the in the wing. And normally I do uh, two or three bunches. Uh, so I start with the dark ones. Uh, so so we, we got this uh, peacock and uh, quarry so I put the peacock on top of the quarry keep the darkest color inside and I put the fiber the, the sections on top of each other instead of um, next to each other so side to side on top as you can see now. So I just continue with the next one. I take it and floor again. Floor again on top of peacock. Trying to keep the same length of everything. Then we have red. Red is the darkest color. So red go on top. Then we have blue. So I put blue there as well. A bit long, so I shorten it. Then we have orange, so I put orange in there as well, trying to stack everything. Then we have yellow, that's the last one, a bit long, so I pull it in as well. So now we have a bunch of a lot of colors. So I brush them a bit to separate the fibers. Then I brush the other way. Backwards again. Now we have a nice blend. And of course, I'm going to mix it more, much more. But for now, it will be sufficient. I'm gonna do the other side before shifting camera. Doing the same darkest in the bottom on top of that one. You see? On top of that one, peacock. I go with Florican. Red. Wrong side. 
side. And then the red. Well, actually, I take the blue before the red. My mistake. Oh, here are the blue. it out the same backwards and then there we have the other side so I'm just gonna uh, switch camera to be able to really close up when I'm tying this one in um, one second. So next step is to add the first bunch. As you can see, I prepared it. So since I have the middle wing, I'm gonna tie in one bunch at a time. Oh no correct myself I might try to add both at the bottom on time So I'm just going to brush this one out on each side. Now you're starting to see the effect of a mixed wing. So I'm going to add another bunch on top of this one, a little bit longer. Um, but first I'm going to wax and varnish and cut all the leftovers away uh, I'm gonna keep them so I'm gonna prepare the next bunch uh, I'm gonna do that uh, offline and then I just start this video and it's time to add them okay so time for the second uh, uh, bunch of fibers so I prepared two so one for each side just gonna Put them together. There we are. So time to tie it in.
there we are. You can play with the wing as much as you want. But now I just gonna wax the thread and add some varnish and cut all the leftovers and we start with the sides and then the topping. So now it's time for the buried wood duck. I already attached the, uh, my side. So I just gonna do uh, the opposite, meaning your side. And then add some uh, varnish and va uh, wax thread and varnish. There we are. To make sure it's mixed one. I just blend it in a little bit in the wing. And then while we are doing it of shatter substitutes so I don't need to stop the video all the time and we have a quite good focus something in a decent size, not too big, not too small. This one might do, no, doesn't look good. Too big. Yeah, this one looks good for one side very intense blue color so I'm just cutting the the part of the feather I don't want next to the stem instead of ripping it off otherwise uh, if it will turn when you tie it in. So there you have one side. So I'm gonna do uh, the other side as well. find a, a suitable topping so I pause the video here topping time so I prepared the topping I think this one is gonna look quite nice on top of it they're not gonna meet all the way I'm 
be something in between. Chopping in place. Horns. So I'm just gonna bend them a little bit with a needle. Back strands when attaching the horns. Bending the other side a little bit. possible and there we are horns in place topping everything so I'm just gonna finish off the head and then uh, yeah, maybe I put some little pressure down the ring but overall really good fishing fly the hackle is quite long here since uh, you need to have the breast feather of a golden piece and, and I didn't really have that small ones but yeah I'm pretty pleased. I don't do mixing that often, but um, I hope you're gonna enjoy the video. So I'm just gonna varnish, wax the thread, finish off the head, and then yeah, I take a picture for of it. Hello guys, um, that's uh, how I tie a mix wing, uh, um, in this case it was a Childers. Uh, so, so basically what I do if it's a really small hook, I use one, one bunch, a little bit larger, two bunch and, and a bigger one, three bunches. Uh, I tend to blend in all the colors and all the components I need per, per wing. So in the end, uh, this is the result, a bit long hackle as I mentioned, but it's a fishing fly, it doesn't matter. Um, overall it looks looks okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. So hope, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and now it's a uh, Friday and weekend. Um, so I'm gonna start with another video. Actually I'm uh, thinking about doing the uh, Trahorn PTJ uh, fly in a video. That is a big challenge, but who remembers a coward, right? So, happy weekend out there, stay safe. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you add a comment, a thumbs up, share the video, up to you guys. Um, that's everything, over and out. <laughs>